Here at Shorewood Country Park, we'd now like to talk about wind turbines. Now this is a 15 kW wind turbine. It's significantly larger than what you'd expect in most domestic situations, but it still, still serves well for our purpose as a demonstration. So like all wind turbines, this to wind turbine, it turns the energy from the wind, the, turns the wind effectively, into electricity, which you can then use in your own house, or in this case, use in the Shorewood Country Park environment sensor. So what you need, of course, for a wind turbine, and as this wind turbine demonstrates so well, is you need wind. Now, today is not a very windy day here, so the blades aren't spinning. And likewise, if you put your wind turbine in a air place which is not windy, then the blades won't spin and you won't get energy, you won't get electricity from it, you won't get any benefit. So it's very, very important that the wind turbine is put in the windiest place possible. Now, what that means is that you need to have the wind turbine in a place where there's a clear fetch in as many directions as possible. Now, a clear fetch means no obstructions from, in, from the direction of, that the wind is coming in. So that means buildings and trees, or at least if there are obstructions there, to try and raise the mast up in order to lift the wind turbine, lift the wind turbine into airflows which are clear of those obstructions. So that is very, very important. Now, the direction of the prevailing wind in this country, in most places in this country, is from the southwest. Um, but also, if you live near the sea, or next to the sea, then you can also get winds coming off the sea. So it can be very important to get a clear line of sight as well to the sea. So it's just very, very important to think about wind. Now, something else to think about with your wind turbine in a domestic situation is you need to think about distance from the neighbours. Now, some models of wind turbine are noisier than others and it can be important to have a significant amount of distance between the, your wind turbine and your neighbours. And you should also bear in mind that your neighbours are not likely to be as amenable to the noise from your wind turbine as you are because obviously it isn't their wind turbine and they're not getting much benefit from it or any benefit. So, and so some wind turbines do require more distance from your neighbours than others. So for example, a six kilowatt wind turbine might require about 75 meters of distance from your neighbors, and a two and a half kilowatt wind turbine, perhaps about 50 meters of distance. So just to give you an idea, but with noise, it is very, very subjective. Really, it is down to who's going to be living there. Um, with regards to um, the kind of models of wind turbine, now, as I said before, this wind turbine is large for a domestic situation. The largest I would really normally expect in a domestic situation might be a 6 kilowatt wind turbine. So this is over two times the rated power of that kind of wind turbine. Um, it's more normal for people in domestic situations to either have a 2.5 kilowatt wind turbine or to have a 1 kilowatt wind turbine as well. It's very, very hard to predict what kind of energy generation you're going to get from wind turbine because it is very down to individual circumstance and how much wind there is at each location. But I'd really normally expect, say, a 6 kilowatt wind turbine really expect it to generate at least 5,000 units of electricity a year, provided it's in a sensible location, a 2.5 kilowatt wind turbine about 2,000 units, and a 1 kilowatt turbine about 800 units. When talking about different kinds of model of wind turbine, it's very, very important that people do their research, that they talk to somebody who's already got a wind turbine of that exact same model, exact same make, and talk to them about it. Hopefully they've had it for a long period of time, so that they've really been able to assess how much electricity it generates here over, say, a year, um, if they've had any problems with it, make sure it really is doing what they've been saying, what, what it should be doing on the tin. So, very, very important, and I really can't stress that enough, because there is tremendous variation in the kind of models out there on the market. In terms of cost, now, I'd expect a wind turbine, say a 5 to 6 kilowatt wind turbine, to cost around 20 to 25,000 pounds. A 2.5 kilowatt wind turbine, about 15,000 pounds, and a 1 kilowatt wind turbine, 5 to 6,000 pounds. And there are differences in price according to whether these would be roof-mounted or ground-mounted models. But you would not expect a wind turbine greater than one kilowatt, greater than one and a half kilowatts to be mounted on your roof. And so in terms of payback, you'd be looking at a 10 to 20 year payback for these wind turbines. Again, provided it's in a reasonable location with nice wind. Um, now, of course, you can also get grants from the Low Carbon Buildings Program, provided in your, you own your own house. So, if you require any more information on this, please contact Creative Environmental Networks and we'll be happy to help.